everybody. Welcome to the Waldock Way. I'm Jessica and today's video is going to be the first video in a four part series all about self care as a homeschool mom. I know I get it. We are homeschool moms and we are doing 3000 things at all the times. Our plates are overflowing and we are juggling 200 balls. There is no time in the day to take care of ourselves. I was one of those people for the majority of my life. I would go full speed until I ran into a wall. I would burn the candles at both ends until there was no candle left. And I would juggle all of the balls until they came crashing down on my head. Um, I was constantly in a cycle of doing all of the things and then crashing and burning um, and either losing it on one of the people that I love, people that I love most, or just sleeping for 12 to 14 hours until I would recharge because that's, that was it. That was me taking care of me. Um, I would occasionally be like, you can't pour from an empty cup. And I would be reminded of that. And I would do something like go get my nails done and get my hair done, which was only even then once or twice a year, or maybe, you know, have a glass of, um, or a mug of tea sitting beside the Christmas tree or something, something small, but it wasn't sustainable. And it wasn't something I was doing on a regular basis. So it wasn't really having a lot of benefit. I mean, it benefited in that moment, but not a ton. And so in 2022, the goal that I made, the promise I made myself is that I would make an effort to put myself first. And that is what I did. But first, here's why. The older I got, the harder I found that it was to burn the candle at both ends, juggle all the balls and do all the things because I was having to crash more frequently to be able to recoup. 10 years ago, I could pull all nighters three nights in a row and I was fine. But the older I was getting, the harder that was becoming. And the older Emily was getting, the more I started thinking like, what kind of example am I setting for her? Is this what I would want for her when she gets older? Would I want her to take care of herself first? Or would I want her to burn the candle at both ends, juggle all the balls and go so hard till she ran into a wall? Obviously, as a mom, your answer is you would want her to take care of herself, obviously. Um, and so it was kind of like, if that's what you want, you need to show her how, right? Like you need to set a better example because I'm it. That's what I, she has is me. And so I'm like, okay, that's what I'm going to do is I'm going to take care of myself. And so I made kind of a list of ways that I could take care of me that were realistic for me, um, that were hopefully something that could be sustainable for me and things that would not only just benefit me, but hopefully in the long run benefit like our family and everything. And so in this series, the things that I'm going to talk about are how I prioritize my self care, um, examples of that, what I used for that. And we're going to talk about how we prioritize self or how I prioritize self care, um, mentally, emotionally, and physically. So I'm going to kind of go through all of the things. Now I will tell you the, the bullet list that I made myself at the beginning of 2022 was to um, eat better, move my body more, and read more. And by reading more, I was very, very specific um, in my goals, but we'll talk about that in the later series. Um, but those were kind of like the generic, like this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna eat better, move your body more, and read for you. Like that's it. That's kind of like the bullet points that will get you to where you want to be, which is taking care of yourself. And taking care of me was really difficult at first because I felt very selfish by having Emily maybe sitting in here eating breakfast by herself while I was um, maybe trying to get a quick workout in. Or I felt very selfish in saying, hey, I'm going to go for a walk and leaving Kevin and Emily at home. It was very very hard for me at first, but I was like, okay, but there's going to be benefits to this, not only for yourself, but for your family and just keep going. And I did. And I'm glad I did because I was right. The benefits of putting me first far outweighed the feeling of being selfish. And eventually I didn't have to feel selfish anymore because they ended up joining me in the long run anyway. Um, but it's kind of like when they say you can't pour from an empty cup or to put your oxygen mask on first on the plane. There's reasons for that. And the more that I put myself first, the more that everything else just kind of fell in line. My mood was better, which meant that I wasn't as cranky. Um, I wasn't raising my voice to Kevin or Emily as much. I wasn't letting things bother me as much. 
my energy was higher, which meant I could do more things. I could be more productive. I could even get more done in less hours than before. Um, my feelings, like I physically felt so much better that I was able to do things that I couldn't do before. And I don't even just mean like um, hiking, although that was a big one for me. I mean like getting in the floor and playing with Emily, you know, or um, doing things that maybe there was like a weight limit before that I couldn't do with her. Um, for example, she wants to go zip lining and I couldn't zip line with her. Um, I'm still not sure I want to zip line because I'm scared of heights, but I will be able to do that now because I'm no longer at that weight limit. Um, going to theme parks, I used to have to ask for a specific seat or a specific row or a specific section, which a lot of times is not, um, for example, on roller coasters, it tends to be the back row, which if you're a kid, you want to be in the front row. And so if Emily wanted to ride with me, it meant not riding where she wanted to ride, um, which now means that that doesn't have to be the case anymore. She can ride in the front row because I can fit in the front row. So it's like all of these things that came from and benefited, not just myself, but Kevin and Emily in the long run, because I put myself first, because I made the choice to take care of me. And that's something that I have become very passionate about after having done that for a year. Um, it's not something I wanted to share about in the beginning or during my journey, because well, if I'm being honest, it's something that I started and failed at many, many times. And I didn't want to be held accountable. And I know that people are thinking, well, you need to be held accountable, but I didn't want to be because I didn't want to let you guys down. And I'm going to get emotional. Sorry. Um, I didn't want to let you down. So I didn't want to talk about it. And I wanted to say thank you also to all of you who noticed and left comments, whether on social media or here on YouTube, and I don't even mean the ones who noticed the physical differences in myself over the course of the last year, which I'm really, really glad that you did because there were sometimes that the comments would come through and just when I needed them, just when I felt like I couldn't go any longer or I couldn't go any harder or I didn't want to do it anymore um, or I didn't see the differences and you guys did. But it wasn't even just the physical ones. It was those of you who said things like, you could tell my energy was better or that my eyes shined again. It was just so, so sweet. And so many of you asked me what I was doing and how I was doing it and how I was making time for it. And so after putting myself first for an entire year, after taking care of me first, after kind of finally feeling like I am kind of balancing me and our family and our homeschooling. I mean, it's not perfect. I don't do all the things. I juggle and drop the balls a lot of days, but I kind of feel like I finally have a enough of an idea of what I'm doing um, to share it with you guys. And so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to talk to you guys about self-care and about what I've been doing. And I really hope that you'll join me for all of the videos because there's so much that I want to share that I'm just not going to be able to get into one. So today I just wanted to let you guys know what we're doing, that we're going to be having an amazing time with this series. It'll be two weeks, four videos, um, and I'm just going to talk about why it's important, the benefits of it, and everything that it's done for me and my family. Um, I do want to say that I have noticed so many positive changes, not just in me or our family, but in our homeschool. Um, and even outside of that, like it's even at this point reached people like my mom, um, is like, okay, well, if you can do it, I can do it. Um, and I love her and I love that she's doing it too. Or I've had a lot of you send me messages like you're such an inspiration. I'm going to do it too. And so I just love that. It's like, you feel selfish at first. Like you shouldn't be putting yourself first. But then you sit down and you think about it and you're like, okay, but look at everything that's come from it. And it's like not, it's totally not a selfish thing. And I really, really want to encourage you guys to watch these videos. I'm going to try to be super transparent and realistic with you and share all of the processes and all of the things. Um, and I hope that if nothing else, you will take one thing away. And that is that self-care doesn't have to be complicated and it's not selfish and it can be simple. It can be something as simple as drinking more water or taking more steps or getting your sleep um, or even just saying no and putting a boundary up. Like it doesn't matter. You can totally do it.